be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What is the deal, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday, y'all. Hope y'all are enjoying the weekend. If this is your first time at the channel, I want to welcome you here. Pull up a seat. I hope that you enjoy the content. And before we get into the food, I want to ask that you like, comment, share, and subscribe while you're at it. And go ahead and tap that bell so you can be notified anytime I go live, drop a brand new video, or when I schedule a premiere. Okay, we got that out the way, y'all. This is my first meal of the day, so I'm starving and I'm ready to get into it. So what I made today were some cheesy smashed potatoes. I made some uh, pan-seared sea bass and some asparagus. Now, I've never had sea bass before, y'all. So it's my first time. I'll show y'all the potatoes. And we got some asparagus. All right, so that's what we have today. I'm excited about this. I think the first thing I'm gonna have is a potato. This is what the potatoes look like. Mm. That's good. I've never made smashed potatoes before either. But they're really easy to make. These are just small Yukon potatoes, red potatoes, and purple potatoes. And oh, it's really moist. It's good. I put them in the oven. No. I boiled them first so they can get soft. Then I smashed them with a fork, you know, like this. Uh, then I put them in the oven, 350. I don't know, maybe like mm, 10, 15 minutes. Topped it with some Gouda cheese while it was in the oven. And then I added the uh, green onions once it was done. That was good. I was going to put like a dollop of sour cream on it, but I wanted to taste it like that first. But I could see sour cream on it, on it as well. That probably would be good. Mm. I haven't had asparagus in a minute. And I love asparagus. I love mine. It still have a little bit of a bite to it. Like, I don't like it cooked down too much. So, this is, like, cooked perfectly. Mm-hmm. Let me see, bass. It has a skin on it. Oh, the skin came off already. It was crunchy. It was really good. I was looking at the best way to prepare and it's that pan searing it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not super fishy, a very, very mild flavor. Mm. That's good. Sea bass can be on there more, like the pricier end, from what I've seen in the store. I mentioned Aldi in the previous video. I got this from Aldi as well, in their frozen section. And I got a pound of it for $6.99, which is really good, because I've seen it way higher than that. Yep, that's good. Mom, this is a good meal to start off the day with too, cause it's not gonna be, it's not too heavy. I have some errands I'm about to go run, so I'll be fine while I'm out doing that. Got right, a late start today, y'all. I was so tired from the live last night. I don't know why, but I was. We didn't go super late, but I was just tired. So, if you guys missed the live last night. It's still up on the channel. You know, sometimes the live got to go. But this one, we had some really good conversation in there. So please run back to live if you want to catch up on that. If you miss family night. We talked about some relationship stuff. Talked about kids. So how y'all doing? What y'all playing for this weekend? I'm just doing a bunch of work all weekend. Work, work, work. Me and mom will go run some errands, but that's about it. Getting a lot of work done. Um, I'm finally going to make my vision board tonight, too, y'all. I'm going to make my vision board tonight so I can vlog it. I know I mentioned it before, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I thought I would have had some time by now, but I haven't. So, I'm going to take care of that tonight. 
and get some writing done too. Get some writing done, get some filming done, and play some music and just vibe out to making a uh, making my, my vision board. That's gonna be fun. I know a lot of y'all already got y'all made. I should have had mine done. I wanted mine done before 2020, but it's fine. I've been doing a lot of reflecting since New Year. You know, since it's been 2020, I've been reflecting on just who I've been over like the course of the last three or four years and how much I've changed. Like, it's like I can even look at old pictures and kind of go back to how I was feeling at that time and what I was going through. It's crazy. Have you ever done that? Like, look at some of your old pictures and go right back to how you were feeling, you know, what was going on in your life, where you were working, you know, who was in your life, what, what relationship you were in. It's like my face just tells it all, you know. I will say that I'm definitely, I'm much happier these days. And I'll say that I looked, I looked unhappy in pictures that I looked at, I'm going to say in about 2000, between 2000, like 2013, 14, I looked so unhappy. You could see the depression on my face. You really could. Had a lot going on and just a lot of um, insecurities and stuff, you know. As y'all can see, I finally did my hair. Well, it's braided up right now. I'm going to take, I'm going to try to wear it out. I'm going to try, try to wear it like this for a week. I want to wear it like this for a week so that it can be crinkly, you know, when I take it down. But let's see if I can make it that long. But at least I twisted it up and that's out the way because that's the hard part. So we're going to see. So if you wear your hair natural, please let me know what products you may use if you have locks. Um, I want to try some different products and be open to different things and how it works in my hair. But now back into this reflection. I don't know how I got on hair, but... Um, well, I guess I got on hair because I'm looking at my old pictures. I'm looking at how my hair has changed as well. So that's why I brought up my hair. Anyways, um, I was just thinking about like how low I was vibrating in my life. Like so low, like vibrating so low, you guys. And... What it took for me to start vibrating higher... And being a more positive person, it really was about who I was surrounding myself with. The people in my life. They play such a huge role um, <clears throat> in us because they pour into us, they build us up, support us, love us, encourage us. Well, you hope they should be doing those things. That's not always happening. And sometimes people are silently tearing you down and you don't notice it. And you don't notice it because, you know, you're kind of in the fog. You know what I'm saying? And... It's just like now I'm on the other side of all of this. Like it feels so good being over here. And in this, I was thinking like this morning, I was in um, Jess Bambi's live and, you know, she was really encouraging everybody to just go for it and just do it this month and go after whatever it is you want. And I had made a comment about me, you know, maxing out on mediocrity. And I kind of wanted to expand on that in this video. Like, when I tell y'all I'm done with being mediocre, I can't. I think I've said this before in at least one of the lives, or maybe in a previous video, but I'm just expanding on it now. Um, I just can't do the mediocrity anymore. Like, I'm, I mean, we all were literally built to be great. And it's just about tapping into that greatness. Like, you have everything it takes to be great. But it's like, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to ever fulfill that potential that you have? You know what I'm saying? And like be willing to make changes and sacrifices in order to get to your greatness. And I'm just thinking about the changes and sacrifices that I've made to get to where I am. And I'm not even close to my potential. That's the crazy part. Like I still have so many levels and layers to go through. And I think a lot of it is about us realizing that we're not tied down to who we used to be. You know, so many of us feel like, well, this is the person I was last year and I'm going to continue to coast and be that same person. And it's like, you don't have to do that. And even if you've been a person that you weren't such a great, a good person at some point in your life where you were a negative person, you were the one tearing people down, you could change. You could be the one that you could, you could turn things around completely for yourself. You don't have to beat yourself up. You can learn from who you used to be 
make those changes and tap into your greatness. But a mediocre life just ain't for me. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's much better on this side, honestly. Like, I, I just can't do it. And I will say this. Even though I'm, I'm on a, a quest to tap into my own greatness, um, I do realize that things are going to come along with it. I may have days where I'm sad or I'm feeling anxious or I'm feeling depressed. And I'm going to have to push through and power through those things as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, recognize that I'm in that state and do whatever it takes to pull myself out of it. You know, because just because you're great and you look good and everything's good and you're at your goal weight and, you know, you're an entrepreneur, doesn't mean that you're not going to be depressed. Like, you, I think that that's just a, it, 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 that's something that's going to continue to show up in our lives. You know what I'm saying? But I do think as you're tapping into your greatness, you're able, the bouts, I feel like are a lot shorter. The windows of depression and anxiety are a lot shorter because you now are equipped to kind of combat those things. You know what I'm saying? And like, and, and take over it and, and take your life back and push that anxiety and depression out of your life. So that's what I think does happen is that you become better at understanding what you need to snap out of it. Because when you're down and you're out and you're feeling mediocre and you're feeling just blah, the depression will come in and just take over you. You don't, you're not strong enough to fight it. And I'm speaking from personal experience. Like when I was vibrating low, man, like when depression and anxiety would start, I didn't have it in me to fight back. I didn't have it in me to understand what was going on. I didn't have it in me to say I needed help. So I would just sit there and it would just get worse and worse and worse every single day. It's like, it was a little bit of darkness and it's like, I pulled back the blind cause I wanted it all to come in. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, like it's, it's so glad to, I'm so happy and grateful and blessed to be out of that state. Um, but again, even though I'm really happy right now, it doesn't mean that it won't come back. It just means that I'll be able to recognize it and I'm, I'm equipped now to, to do a better job at, um, at tackling it, you know, and dealing with what my coping mechanisms to, to get through it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, I really want us to be great. All of us, you know what I'm saying? And I know some of us out there may be feeling like, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what I want to do. I don't even know what I'm good at. But I think the, the start to all of that, if you are someone who's in that space, is just taking a look at yourself in the mirror, being honest with yourself and I think it's also okay for you to talk to your future self. Talk to your future self on what you would like you to accomplish. And just being positive and building yourself up. That's a great start. So that you can try to start changing your perspective. Um, I think, you know, in tapping into changing your mindset will allow you to... Basically, if you're not even sure what you like or what you want to do. When you change your mindset about who you want to become and be this positive person and changing your mindset... I think that the universe will send things to you and you'll have a better understanding of what your calling is. There will be people that will come to you that see things in you that you don't see in yourself that will help you understand what you're here to do, to walk into your purpose. Hopefully that all makes sense. I know I'm kind of all over the place, y'all, but I don't know. That whole max not on mediocrity just really just like has just been sticking with me. Like I'm just, I'm committed to waking up every day and making sure that I never become that person again. That was just super mediocre. And content with just being down here, you know? And it's like, you know, now I've tapped into my higher self. And now I'm on a quest to type, tap into my highest self. I need to go all the way up. Because I've gone higher. But there's still there's still more. There's still more of a more room for me to go. So. I don't know. I just feel good, y'all. I really do. And also, and it took me a while to get around to this video because... I didn't want to look tired on video. I wanted to be rested. So it felt good to be able to do that and take my time and, you know, not rush and just do a video for the sake of doing it. I wanted to look and feel good in the video, you know. So that was nice as well. I wanted to take my time with that. Because, I mean, at this point, once it comes out, I'm sure it's definitely the afternoon, maybe even early evening for some of y'all out there. But either way, hopefully the message and something that was said today speaks to somebody. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up, y'all. I want y'all to go ahead and make sure you let me know what you guys got planned for the weekend. Um, I hope to have some stuff to share tomorrow. I got to finalize some stuff first. And hopefully I can share it tomorrow. But if not tomorrow, the next couple days, I'll be able to share a couple updates and stuff. So I'm excited about that. All right, y'all. 
Is anybody a big sea bass fan? Let me know other ways you may prepare it or what you eat it with. What do you what do you pair it with usually? Because um, I still have more of it outside in the freezer and I want to um, try it some different ways. So y'all let me know, you know, how else you try it or any sauces that you may pair with it as well. You know, I want to kind of explore with sea bass since this is my first time trying it, so. All right, y'all. I, I had to have that sip. Let that go down. Thank y'all so much for checking out this video. I appreciate you guys being here very much. Please make sure you check out my website, rondasredsauce.com. There will be updates continuously, but that is how you can get to my podcast. And it's just also how you can just stay, you know, in tune with everything that's going on. So rondasredsauce.com. Um, yeah. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will be back tomorrow. So until then... All I want you to do is be good to yourself. Peace. I be beaming, I be booming down that block, down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot.